Blessings to the Goham fam. Thank you so much for tuning in to another episode of Divine Discussions. We will be talking about the week of December 2nd through December 8th in this reading. Uh, before we get into it, let me give you a quick disclaimer. This reading is for multiple energies of the collective, so take what resonates with you and leave what does not. With that being said, we can jump right into it. Jump right into it. Spirit. What messages do we have for the collective December 2nd through December 8th? What messages do we have for the collective December 2nd through December 8th? Let's look at this solar plexus chakra, please. Solar plexus, recognition and reward, partnerships and alliances. Okay. All right. So for the week of December 2nd through December 8th, um, we are being told that we need to focus on healing and aligning our solar plexus chakra. So your solar plexus chakra is your third chakra. It's yellow. So if you're doing color therapy or color meditation, that's the, that is the color you want to meditate on. Um, it just has to do with self and purpose and drive and ego. So you're being encouraged to just really do a lot of self evaluation, self analyzing within this week, right? So, um, spirit is encouraging you to move past those things that are no longer serving you again move past the things that are boring you move past the things that you're just disconnected from things that are going on situations energies that you just don't want to deal with anymore spirit is telling you it is safe to move past these things it is healing to move past these things right Spirit is letting us know that there are some partnerships and alliances coming into um coming to, toward us this week. Um, so just pay attention to the people and the situations that come towards you, the opportunities. There are going to be people um, within this week that are bringing you opportunities for growth. Um, so just open yourself up to receiving these opportunities for other people because they are coming. But you have to remove the blockages um, that are within this solar plexus chakra to open yourself up for those opportunities. But Spirit is letting you know that you will be recognized and rewarded for opening yourself up. There, there is recognition and reward on the other side of moving from what is no longer serving us, right? And we will be harmonious, yes. Yeah, so we will be harmonious we'll be living more in our purpose we'll be living more in love and light when we step away from the things that um we're just discontent with right let's look at this emotional loss please thank you all right so for this week There's some, um, we're really stepping away from some things um, 
making some hard decisions this week um, taking some time for ourselves to analyze what is good for us to analyze what is not good for us to analyze uh, where we want to be headed and what is holding us back from heading in that direction and then completely cutting off what it is that is holding us back right so spirit is encouraging us to step away from our self-limiting beliefs self-limiting behaviors our doubts our fears our worries temptations addictions step out of this energy so you can step into the abundance so Spirit is also letting you know that it's not going to be um, easy. It's easier said than done to step out of the energy that you've been <clears throat> stuck in for so long. The Spirit is letting you know that if you don't step out of this energy, you're going to find yourself in this cycle of emotional loss. You're going to find that yourself in this cycle of just like um, emotional and mental conflict. And you're not, a lot of us find ourselves in this cycle and have been in this cycle for a long time and we don't know how to get out of it and spirit is telling you you just need to release we just need to let go um and while letting go is scary there is so much beauty on the other side while um if we do not let go it only leads us to more heartache and loss right so keeping ourselves stagnant um keeping ourselves in the energy that is not progressing us in any way only leads us down a road of emotional loss heartache and loss and just um a lot of energies we're not trying to deal with this week or this month or the rest of our lives so spirit is encouraging us to move forward with memories of love so moving forward from these situations in love and forgiveness moving forward from these situations and these energies um having learned and grown from the situation so taking what you've learned from these situations into the future so that we don't step into the same energy and the same cycles again but also releasing them and we there is no need for them so release um forgive don't forget is basically what spirit is saying so forgive for yourself so that you can continue to grow because doing so is going to give you financial and material prosperity things changes are coming but we have to step in and allow ourselves um the opportunity and openness to receive the changes that are coming for us mental conflict spirit thank you mental conflict wow, wow. thank you okay yeah, so Spirit is definitely saying the things that we need to move on from, we know what they are at this point. Um, we could point them out. We know what's no longer good for us. We know what is holding us back. But we are conflicted about moving because we have emotional ties to what it is that we need to move away from right we have been dealing with this energy we are comfortable in this space but comfort has never gotten us any better has never made us any better so spirit is telling us it is time to move forward it is time to move on like this is a part of your destiny so this situation and experience you're going through um was meant for you it is supposed to happen so that you can learn and so that you can grow from these situations but it is not your end-all be-all situation energy or space so spirit is telling us we've learned what we could in this space and situation in this time and it's time to move forward from that so that we can learn and grow more yeah and spirit is letting us know that we will be triumphant as soon as we step out of this as soon as we step out of the shadows and step into the light we will have material and spiritual prosperity you will be abundant uh like I said with that destiny card you will be abundant like all of it is destined to you you just got to open yourself up for it wisdom emotional withdrawal hmm. yeah yeah so once again spirit is letting you know that you are a wise being and everything you are going through is to give you more wisdom to give you more strength so that you can move forward toward the blessings that are coming to you and not be 
bamboozled by the same situations that have occurred in the past, right? So we can move forward in the future and the present and not be taken by the same things that were have gotten in our way in the past. So it is letting you know that it is time to use the wisdom that you've gained to move forward. It is time to let go of everything and step into the light, step into that wisdom and allow it to um, move you toward the future that you want to create. Spirit is also letting you know that there will be some sacrifices <clears throat> With letting go of anything, of course, that's a sacrifice. You got a um, emotional sacrifice, physical sacrifice, mental, financial, whatever it may be for you. Um, it is okay to let things go and understanding when things are letting go. When you let things go, you open yourself up to receiving more. So you can't receive things if you're consistently hoarding what you already have right so we have to let things go but we also should not allow ourselves to be um emotionally withdrawn because of the situations and the cycles you find yourself in so the spirit is letting you know that when you release these temptations when you step out of these energies when you step away from these people um yes you're going to feel it we have emotions we're human beings of course so you're going to feel because you were attached to that person and spirit is letting you know not to allow yourself to pull away emotionally from other people because like I said in the beginning there are people coming into your life this week who are here for your abundance for your growth so not to shut yourself down emotionally from other people because of what you're releasing and what you're letting go from so let go without closing off is what spirit is saying yeah and you can uh, help yourself to do so by healing and aligning that base chakra your base chakra is your first chakra it's located at the root of your spine the color is red and that has to do with uh, survival physical um, the physical realm just um, money anything material that is what your base chakra has to deal with so spirit is telling you to ground yourself right now because there are changes coming so ground yourself root yourself in where you want to be take time to patiently plan what it is you want to do moving forward and then proceed in that without worrying about everything that has happened in the past everything that you are releasing because we don't need that energy anymore victory and success please thank you hmm. victory and success my foundations thank you All right, so Spirit is letting us know ultimately you will be victorious. You will be successful in moving past everything that is going on in your life currently, even if it feels like there is no light at the end of the tunnel. Spirit is letting you know as soon as you release, so much light is going to come into your life, right? So Spirit is telling you definitely there are some movement choices and decisions to be made in your life, but you will be victorious in overcoming these as long as you remain open. Um, yeah, and the movement choices and decisions that we are making and creating will help to build the foundation that we are trying to build to move forward in our lives. So we are building at this point a stable foundation and it is time to release uh, the crumbly blocks that we're, no, that we're not serving our foundation so that we can build that firm foundation um, and move forward building upward, right? Following your intuition and your inner guidance is what Spirit is saying. So listen to your inner knowing. You know inside, ultimately, you know exactly what it is you need to be doing. Um, so Spirit is telling you just follow your guidance, follow your heart, follow your intuition, um, and you will be materially and spiritually prosperous and abundant. Final messages, Spirit. Thank you. Yes. Yeah. So Spirit, once again with that foundation card, so this is really we are making changes to build the foundation it is we are looking for so it is really time to step away from what is no longer serving us so that we can step into the energy of building a foundation that we want to build from to that we want to progress from right so spirit is encouraging us this week to take some time to self just spend time by yourself and when you're spending that time by yourself just really think um 
consciously how are you spending that time are you spending that time healing that solar plexus are you spending that time healing that root are you spending that time releasing those temptations and addictions and self-limiting beliefs or are you feeding them is what spirit is saying so just constantly paying attention and consciously understanding um how we're going to move forward patiently patience and planning with this this spending time by yourself um retreat to nature just take some time to self this week for real to to plan your movements but also to analyze what it is that is no longer serving you and get rid of it yeah and spirit wants you to know that of course there will be some obstacles and challenges in our um lives of course there will be some obstacles and challenges within this week but obstacles and challenges only make us stronger spirit wants you to know that through these obstacles and challenges you are being divinely guided and supported as long as you're following your intuition these obstacles and challenges will not um will not necessarily make a hard stop in your life right so following your intuition because your obstacle is here for your growth and as long as you're looking at your at your obstacles and challenges as opportunities for growth you will succeed in them questions to ask yourself through the week of december 2nd through december 8th um Let's start with what do I need to let go of? Because that's a big message for this week. So what is holding me back? What is not allowing me to progress and move forward in the way that I see best for myself? Um, what opportunities have opened up for me within this week? What blessings are coming my way? Other questions to ask yourself. What is mentally conflicting me? Why am I holding myself back from my destiny, my purpose? How can, with this patience and planning card, but how can I further progress to um, create the foundations it is that are destined to me, really? What movement choices and decisions do you need to make consciously to move forward the best way possible for your highest self and your highest good i don't have any more questions this has been a beautiful reading thank you so much for tuning in with me today if you would like to book a personal reading with me you can go to www.divinedestiny.com if you would like to see this segment in more depth, we have more episodes on www.gohamradio.com where you can catch this segment and many others. We've got cooking shows, we've got workout shows, we've got music all the time. So tap in with us, man. It's a vibe. That's all I can say. See for yourself. Bottom of the deck energy, so sorry. Spiritual union is the bottom of the deck energy, so with that being said there are people situations and energies that are coming towards you that it, spiritually this is where you are supposed to be so you're stepping into the energy of spiritual union as soon as you step away from the energy of um, temptation addiction self-limiting belief and self-doubt with that being said thank you so much for tuning in with me stay divine peace